The Smash scene is always poppin' and there is a lot to discuss, so we decided to call up our friend Hugo, though you may know him as Daddy. Uh, let's welcome Smash Pro Hugs to the show. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Don't you love that intro? Like, you've named yourself that and now this is what happens. I'm yeah, I'm just not ready for daddy jokes at 9 a.m. So well, it's, it's okay. Now it's, you're that's, awake. That's for, those are the nighttime jokes. Oh, no. okay. This Keep it kid-friendly, okay? <laughs> okay, relax. Um, so you're back on the West Coast now. Have you completely settled in? Uh, not uh, logistically speaking, but like like my vibes, yes, I'm 100% settled in. Yeah. Your vibes? I still um, got to, yeah, yeah, like I feel good. I feel West Coast. Everything's great. Uh, the box, the moving boxes, and the fact that I don't have a car yet, all that's a mess, but we'll fi we're figuring it out. I did see uh, you tweet out that you're still unpacking and you're willing to pay with feet pictures for help? What? Uh, yeah, I actually got a lot of offers for that. I was kidding. <laughs> I, I don't actually have feet pics to give out. Uh, but it's nice to know that people are willing to uh, lend a helping hand, you know? kind of disturbed and I kind of want to see what kind of offers you had but um, let's move on to something a bit more serious uh, now that you've experienced both coasts I want to know how does how do you smashers compare from East Coast to West Coast uh, okay so like the whole thing is the East Coast is kind of upset with me because when I went to the East Coast I attended maybe like two tournaments the whole time and those are both uh, Hacks Money's nightclub tournaments but that's because um, I either didn't have time like, I don't really attend that many locals here in SoCal. And um, it'd take, like, an hour and a half, like, or two hours of, of train rides to get there. And it was just such a big commitment that I, I wasn't all about it. And I had a lot of other responsibilities. So, mm -hmm. But uh, the scenes are awesome. Um, uh, they're, they're really hard working out there. I honestly think they're probably the best or the second best region in the U.S. or in the world right now. Um, they're they're all getting so good, and then Hacks even got fourth place at Genesis, so they're killing it. SoCal's just uh, it's all it's all fiction and Johnny Ray <laughs> and Lucky uh, killing it, you know, for the most part. But no, 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 face roll. Never mind, I'm wrong. We're really good. I'm sorry. SoCal's gonna hate me after saying this. No, 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 we're actually really good. But I was just thinking like improvement. Like New York's getting really, really good. You might have to now move to like the mid. <laughs> Mid USA. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta go to Fresno or something. <laughs> I'm getting disowned. Yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Um, you you brought up Genesis Seven, and I wanted to touch on it um, because obviously there's a lot of talk about it right now on social media, and you yourself, you know, took to Twitter to talk about it, even streamed to talk about it even further. Um, can you just give us a very like brief TLDR and explain more importantly, like why did you feel like you had to go out and talk about it? Oh, just about the location stuff, um, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, uh, a couple of reasons. One, I have a lot of friends in the in the Bay Area and um, who who call that place home. And um, seeing people just trash on it, uh, obviously there were some there were some concerns uh, about about like car break-ins and things like that. But the thing is, it's like it's a Bay Area problem. It's a major city problem. And then when people just kind of take that incident and then decide to say this whole city is trash. I think it affects the the tournament organizer who is my roommate. It affects my friends. It affects the mindsets of people who have never been there who want to prejudge Oakland before ever going. And really, like you could walk a block and you're getting organic horchata, you're getting Toro uh, at market price, you're going to a vegan restaurant named Gay For You. I just don't see how this area is in any way uh, dangerous, though there were some instances that happened, but I think people need to tone it back and then, I mean, both sides do. Maybe I shouldn't call people soft, but you know, I, uh, it's my fault too. So it's, it is what it is, but I just wish people would get along and just kind of tone it all down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? You're very outspoken. And I feel like a lot of people in the smash community itself is very outspoken, especially when you compare to like other esports. a lot of players don't use their platform to speak out against, you know, issues mm -hmm. in the scene. Um, do you think it's something that is important to do, like in a grand esports kind of, uh, I guess, scale? I, I think it's super, well, I, I think it's super important to use your voice, but that's not necessarily why I do it. I just, if, if I have something going on in my head, I like to talk about it and I, I like to bring it up. But uh, if if you do have a voice, it's definitely important to, to speak up and, and be responsible with your voice, knowing that you have a, an impressionable following so um yeah you gotta you gotta be careful with how you speak and i i think i'm 
careful to a certain extent. Sometimes I let it a little loose, but yeah, I do think it's important. I think it's very important. And I just want to also touch on the fact that you've publicly said that you're going to be working on another, I want to say peace, because it almost seems like it, like you're like, oh. I'm working on <laughs> writing something. Um, you want to just tell us a little bit more about it or what you can about it? Yeah, so uh, pretty much uh, Nintendo has been pretty awful towards the competitive Smash scene for years now. And uh, for a long time, uh, a lot of top players and, and um, you know, people in the know uh, have kept quiet on the off chance that they decide to change their mind and help us. And uh, it's come to the point where a, a lot of us have are, are now realizing that it's never going to happen. So we uh, we might as well talk about it so that the community at large knows the things that we've known for years. Now, the only thing that I want to say with that is that I am no journalist. So what I'm writing about is 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 from the mouths of the people who either have worked directly with Nintendo, work at the companies that have worked with Nintendo or have that kind of information. So hopefully a journalist could take that after and then and then do the the whole thing, but you know, I'm not I'm not getting emails, I'm not getting like contracts and things like that. I'm getting just the words from the people that know so that I could send it to you. Like yeah. almost whistleblower Hugo. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't I don't like it. <laughs> but I I've, I've already sunk myself into that hole, so I got to do it. Um just on that note, so obviously you've been you know, playing Smash for so long and other people in this community, they've been grinding this game for so long without that support. Um, yeah. why, why do it? You know, why, why stick to something that you feel like you can't make your livelihood out of or is there, there's not going to get any better down the line? Uh, why do Smash? Well, Smash is definitely going to stick. So Smash will never die. Uh, Smash has way too many fans. It has way too many uh, uh, fan engagement. The players love the games too much. It's never going to die. What's dying is the idea of making a living on it and uh i don't know if this is going to change that uh or, or and if it doesn't at least people deserve to know that it's not going to change so that they don't hard commit to it you know it's just it's just people need to know so they can make more informed decisions on what they want to do with their life if they decide to play smash competitively for a living mm -hmm. um that's why I, I I do it, but uh, Smash is never going to die. So you play it because you have fun with it. I think that's a, a fantastic reason to do it because there's going to be a scene for it for pretty much ever. Well, you say that, but also, you know, on stream, you've been playing a lot of different games. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. recently, I saw your ventures into Legends of Runeterra. And actually, yeah. I'm going to do a journalistic thing right now and quote you. And you said, uh -huh. <laughs> um, I want Riot, Riot Games to be my daddy. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I did say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> So tell yeah, us more. Yeah, no, because Riot actually uh, cares about their esports scene. And, uh, you know, after, uh, I'm, I'm not quitting Smash, but I've been playing Smash for like 19 years at this point and competitively for 16. So at a certain point, I get to say that, you know what, I want to put some more food on my table. You know what I mean? Like I want to try doing, try and getting good at something else, seeing where that takes me. So um, that's what I'm trying right now. Uh, don't look at the stream and expect <laughs> need to be at any kind of good level. I'm very bad right now, but I'll learn eventually. You are a quick learner. And um, just to touch on uh, the whole scene again, like YouTube gaming is something that's popping off as well. And so I want to get your thoughts on like, in terms of streaming, um, what do you think about the fact that now YouTube gaming is challenging Twitch as like the most viable streaming platform? Uh, I think it's a good thing because uh, you never wanted a monopoly, right? And for the longest time Twitch was the monopoly in streaming. So the fact that Mixer and YouTube are making big moves, I think will only help improve Twitch. So I'm a Twitch guy, so I'm going to be with Twitch, uh, as far as I know. <laughs> um, uh, so while I'm on Twitch, I want Twitch to get better, and it definitely could improve on a lot of things. I think uh, people have been upset over a lot of things recently. So the fact that they're getting competition means they got to clean their shit up. Uh, sorry, can I cuss? You can. I yeah, you do you. Okay, yeah, they, they just got to clean their stuff up, so uh, this will help them do it. If you were to narrow down to one thing that you would want from Twitch, what would it be? Uh, I don't have that in my head right now. <laughs> I, just know that, I just know that they made me upset with the whole, you know, cat throwing Alinity thing and, you know, who they ban, who they don't ban, yep. things like that. Those decisions are awful. So that's, all right, that's my number one thing I fix. It's just the way that they deal with moderation. Okay, good, good. I thought you were going to say, like, no cat throwing. I'm like, that's pretty, no. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty standard. That's a pretty yeah. standard one. Um, all right, so looking forward for you, what can people expect? Uh, they could expect me to keep growing my stream and uh, focusing on 
uh, getting great at another game. Right now, that idea is Legends of Runeterra. Right now, it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun, so I'm going to keep playing it and uh, see some big brain plays going out of that game. So it's, it'll be great. All right, but let's not forget about Smash. I just wanted to get your quick hot takes on uh, Byleth. <laughs> what do you think about that uh -huh. character joining the game? Okay, so just on the clips I've seen and talks from people whose opinions on skill uh, or like, you know, character viability that I trust, like Leffen and, and others, Byla sucks. <laughs> and, and like she's slow, uh, the recovery is kind of predictable. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know if it's gonna change. You got Gimmer out here saying that the character's good. Gimmer knows a lot about this game, but he's also like a, like a, like a bad character apologist, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. All right, so if you were to pick the next DLC character, who would you want? Uh, I'm sure everyone has like that one that they're waiting you, for. Did you see my tweet about uh, the, the lead character of Moonlight? No. Chiron, I want Chiron in the, <laughs> I'm kidding, no, that's a total joke. It's a very <laughs> dramatic movie, it makes no sense. Uh, let's go with Bomberman, I like okay. Bomberman. Okay, yeah. all right, that's amazing. Okay, so I guess- <laughs> Not Chiron <not> from <laughs> Oscar award winning movie. Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, of all the tweets that I see from you, that's the one I missed, you know? <laughs> all right, but Hugs, thank you so much. We always love hearing from you and best of luck with your stream this year. Thank you. Shout out to Dignitas, bye. <laughs>